Hi there guys, uh, going through another episode of Steam Watch here. Where we're going to have a look at all the new releases, specials, up and coming games and the top sellers of the the week. Or at least I think it's the week, in fairness. I couldn't actually tell you. It just says top sellers. But, first thing to look at is the special offers. There doesn't seem to be a, a major sale on, although there is a free weekend here uh, for Call of Duty Infinity War if you want to play the multiplayer. So if you are interested in playing that and you don't have Call of Duty, which I don't, then you can uh, download that for free apparently. So as we have a look at the special offers, uh, we can see that there's nothing major that I would be interested in myself. There is a Play Anime Weekend deal for Bandai Namco where if you're interested in 33% off of Dragon Ball Xenoverse or what else have we got? One Piece Burning Blood. It kind of looks interesting but it's not really my thing. It's got that kind of Titanfall. What do you call that? Titan fucking... The, the Attack of Titan. That's the one I was thinking about. Uh, I actually bought that and it's okay, it's, it's, it's a great enough game, I guess. It didn't really, it wasn't really of interest to my subscribers though, so I left it out. So, other specials, we'll have a look. We can see there's 50% off Fallout 4, which I don't yet have. I wouldn't buy Fallout 4 until it goes to down to 10 euro myself. Uh, that's what I did with a lot of my AAA games. Now, there, are, there was a midweek... Saints Row special but it doesn't appear here that if you're watching Saints Row 4 you can currently buy it for 374 which is my kind of special now this offer is only for another 19 hours so when you see this video which will be in 12 hours time you're only going to have 7 hours to get it uh, it was part of Midweek Madness. <laughs> so, moving on to popular new releases. We can see that, uh, apart from Berserker, is quite a recent one. I, I noticed Jimquisition posting a review of that game. It's obviously something he's into. I would be buying it brand new myself. It's not really my cup of tea that I could see. But if you're into that sort of thing, it's got a kind of Japanese feel to it. We have For Honor. Also, we have uh, Northgard, which is up there and uh, one of the top sellers. If you like Fappen, there's Beauty Bounce, which is uh, basically. could probably be described in one image. I don't know, but uh, short of sweat dripping down the leg, I'm guessing that pretty much explains it all. And so we're going to go to the top sellers. Now, like I said, we have uh, Northgard as the top seller here, so I don't know what it is. It's, it's, it's a city builder, apparently, which puts it in par with evolution, civilization, is it? Then we've got For Honor. Which looks uh, hacky slashy dwarfs and orcs and shit, is it? Don't know, don't care. H2, H1Z1, the horror game. I don't have it. Uh, I, I, I tend to steer away from early access if I can help it. I do buy them the odd time. And one thing that's quite interesting is that they've actually got three hardware, uh, Steam hardware things in the top ten and top sellers. Do you think that would be... I don't really see how... Oh, what's that say? Mature content. Oh, oh, oh. What have we got? Peggy 12. Peggy 12. Fucking hell. How the hell is that mature content? I don't get it. 20th of August 2016 and it's in the top 10 sellers 
it must have been half price for that to happen. And last but not least, I guess we'll go through the t the up and coming. Now, it's not really something we should be delving into too much because we did f cover this last week. I didn't see anything of major interest in the up and coming games. I don't know if the the ending of the Green Light series has killed the new horror games coming out. Nothing I can see that I could even uh, review for Monday. So I don't know what I'm going to do for a video for Monday. I'm going to play it by ear if something turns up. Here we have Friday 13th, the game, early 2017 that has itself down as. So we will see. Revenge First Blood. Now that could be a horror or it could be a Rambo fucking game. But no, we don't seem to have The Wake. But it's a VR game. We don't seem to have any horror games coming up. Which is uh, slightly annoying. Well, that was a wee look at Steam so far. We'll have another look next week, see if there's any good sales. Oh, one thing that I did notice, I don't know if we're going to have it here, is that the the DLC for Resident Evil 7 is coming out. No, the season's pass. Fuck off the season's pass. Uh, where did it go? I probably will not be getting them. I'll wait for a Steam sale before I pick them up. But if you're interested, the band footage for Resident Evil 7 is out. So, I think that will end this week's Steam Watch. I will try and keep it under 10 minutes. Make it something you can... It's not going to bore the shite out of you too much. I'll catch up with you next Friday for another episode of Steam Watch. We'll see if there's any good sales coming up where you can pick up some nice AAA games at small prices. If there is any indie games that's worth playing, I will pick them up. Uh, under 10 euros, Sleeping Dogs, there's one. Uh, Definitive Edition, I was Peggy actually thinking 18. of picking this up. Uh, I don't have it, but apparently the only way you can get it now is with all the DLCs. They turned it into one game it's like uh, the legendary edition, but and they t put in, they basically created it and of the game now. You can't get the original game. You can only get it with all the DLCs built into the story narrative. Uh, I might get that. We'll see. Seven forty nine if you're interested. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please leave a comment, a like uh, if it's the first time you've seen this consider subscribing till next time guys this is Huck peace out